Hello and welcome to the World Cup News. Today is Monday the 16th of June and it is day 5 of the World Cup. And we have plenty to come. We have great matches tonight. Germany and Portugal. That's going to be a cracker of a match. That's tonight at 5pm. Don't miss that because Ronaldo um, is said he's fit and ready to play that match. And that's tonight. Well, in the meantime, we had three great matches last night. We had um, Switzerland against Ecuador, France against Honduras, and Argentina against Bosnia. Here's how they went. First one, Argentina's game of two halves. Argentina's 2-1 defeat to Bosnia and Herzegovina in their 2014 FIFA World Cup um, debut is har hardly likely to generate a great delight among the uh, fans. That said, um, they are times when all that matters is getting the job done and this was one such occasion. Argentina didn't play well but Messi and Messi did say that Argentina need to improve on their game if they need if they want to get out but they have a pretty easy group well I'm not saying anything there um, I'd say Nigeria is a good team and Iran but um, Nigeria are in a group with Bosnia and uh, Nigeria and Iran and uh, Nigeria and Iran play tonight at 8 uh, so that was a 2-1 victory there for Argentina Messi scoring the second goal and here are the three goals for uh, two for Argentina and one for Bosnia. Right, so the other match was France against Honduras. Benzema bags brace as Blues beat Honduras. France had a perfect start to their Brazil 2014 Brazil campaign with a Karim Benzema uh, inspired 3-0 win over a 10-man Honduras. The Real Madrid striker scored twice and had a large hand in another uh, as Les Blue moved to the top of Group E with an emphatic victory at, um, the, at the Rio, Barra Rio. However, while the final scoreline may suggest a mismatch, this was a game that hung in the balance until turning on Wilson pa Palacicio's 43rd minute red card um, in the box. And Matiudad had become had come closer prior to that uh, moment, forcing a superb interactive save from Noel Valadras, who tipped the French midfielder's stabbed shot onto the top crossbar. So there, that was three 0 here, and here are the three goals for France in full. Right, so the third and final match, which played at 5pm yesterday, 
was Switzerland 2, Ecuador 1. Last gasp, Shrovic snatches Switzerland victory. Switzerland secure a dramatic 2-1 victory over Ecuador. A big one there because Ecuador were, I think, supposed to win in the last t uh, turnaround of the 2014 World Cup with Harris Shrovic uh, scoring in stoppage time after NR Valencia uh, and Am Adamir McMedic Midi <laughs> look to have secured a point for both sides. Sorry, the names are going to be a bit weird because I'm not great at pronouncing names, to be honest. Well, that was a 2-1 victory over Sw for Sweden uh, against Ecuador. Right, so um, in other news, the goal line, uh, France score first World Cup goal to be awarded with the support of the GTL, the goal line technology, last night. Um, the goal line technology provided to be a support for the referee uh, for the f yeah um, referee Sandro Ricci for France's second goal in their 2014 World Cup Group E match against Honduras uh, last night. The GTL animation provided viewers additional support as the TV images were not conclusive in showing whether it was a goal or not. Further information is provided where to help fans understand GTL animation, uh, animation replays and in particular in this instance to explain why the no goal uh, replay was shown prior to the second replay airing immediately afterwards to confirm the goal. In general GTL animation replays um, may be shown when the ball is in within 30 centimeters of the goal line on the pitch of the yeah as well as when the ball crosses the line right so that is practically all our news there's news on your screen too you might have seen there you can go on to www.soccerworldcup2014 to see all our episodes remember lads and um, that um we have a newscast every day so do stick stay tuned with us and um, for every for all of that if you click on calendar you can get all the results and you can get all the fixtures coming up in the next couple of weeks we still have a fair bit more to go in the world cup it's only day five today we have about a month worth of football until the final final is um on sunday the 13th of july well we're going to move on to fixtures and results well the first match switzerland Switzerland, Switzerland 2, Ecuador 1. France 3, Honduras 0. Argentina 2, Bosnia 1. Now we're going to move on to the fixtures for today. Yeah, tonight. We have Germany against Portugal at 5 pm. Could be a great match. Iran against Nigeria at 8 p.m. Ghana against USA at 11 p.m. USA um, are going into that game for revenge. Mm -hmm. So tomorrow, the 17th of June, it's Tuesday tomorrow. At 5 p.m. we have Belgium against Algeria. At 8 p.m. we have Brazil against Mexico. And at 11 p.m. we have Russia against Korea Republic. You can get all of them fixtures on our website or you can email us at www.magicorangetvworldcup at gmail.com um, if you want to know anything about this year's World Cup. Well, we're going to leave you now um, with pictures of day four of the world cup we hope to see you tomorrow tuesday the 17th of june and um, from me um i wish you i hopefully you can all watch that germany match tonight and whoever you're up for in the remember you all have to be a supporting the team even if it's your home country but even if your home country isn't in it um all should be supporting a team and i think i've made my clear at the moment um, but I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.